Hello, good morning. It's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst for the US indices, giving you a quick update here. It's been a while since I've done a US market uh, report. Just giving you a quick insight there. Uh, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, US indices basically uh, certainly helped by Mr. Trump and Juncker's meeting there in terms of increasing. Uh, uh, potential uh, purchase of U.S. soybeans that certainly has helped the uh, the farmers, agriculture sector, and also Mr. Mr. Trump's potential uh, fiscal stimulus there as well. Uh, certainly has helped U.S. equities. Although uh, Facebook certainly is a drag on uh, equities, so again bear that in mind, given the fact that it's not 24% post earnings. So that certainly is a negative factor. So weighing those two up together, Asian markets certainly have turned negative, given the fact that Mr. Trump certainly has increased his rhetoric against China, so that trade war certainly seems to be ongoing. And whether or not this can obviously uh, continue, that's the question. That will be the question that we are all focused on. Okay, now, uh, in terms of the technical picture, because that's what I'm going to be touching on for now, because there are a lot of fundamental arguments one can make. We have the ECB later today. We've got uh, jobless claims as well, durable goods. So let's see how the market reacts there. We have got ongoing trade tariff concerns as well. Uh, let's see how the situation with New Europe obviously gets resolved, given the fact that we've de-escalated, and obviously the situation with regards to China certainly is uh, something to worry about as well. Okay, so uh, let's start off by the Nasdaq because the Nasdaq certainly has been hammered, as you can see here at seven five ten going into the close, and uh, that certainly has reversed quite sharply. We have a sub sub seven four hundred at the moment. Daily chart the Na of the uh, Nasdaq. I mean, as you can see, very very bullish. Uh, but that, that certainly will come into question now given the uh, the bullish nature so weekly chart as well as you can see breaking up to new highs the volume certainly wasn't on the increase so, so that certainly was a cause for concern 60 minute chart will looks looks set to reverse quite sharply we did have this hns formation which was negated uh, we closed the gap and ever since then we've been rallying so again you've got previous uh, resistance equal support 7400 that's been cracked uh, you are now looking at support, but gap fill at 7370. If that cracks and you back support 7310, then eventually you've got gap fills below to close as well. So, we'll see whether or not we can target those gaps. Okay, so that's basically where we stand. Okay, now in terms of the um, cross referencing that uh, again with regards to its peers, so we're looking at the uh, the biotech index here. Okay, the biotech as well, the daily chart hitting that potential double top scenario. As you can see here, okay, double tops. Fail to break through that double top though, okay. Uh, if we do break higher from here, which will be quite impressive, uh, given the fact that NASDAQ breaks higher than your next, then your next resistance is up here at 4200. <laughs> Moving on to the semiconductors, let's just quickly give you an insight there as well. Semicons, okay. Semicons certainly not sharing the enthusiasm uh, or the bullishness from uh, the NASDAQ. So again, cause for concern. On the daily chart, so bear that in mind. Now, moving on to the SP 500 now, okay. SP 500 finished close quite positive towards the end, uh, looking to target that gap around 28.53 now. Uh, I think we hit a pivot high of 28.45, 28.46, okay. So, uh, watch out for that gap. Certainly, I've closed all the gaps from what you can see, and that really was the last gap here around 28.53. Okay, so watch out there. And then ultimately, you do have one more gap up here as well. Sorry, no gap there. Sorry, I do apologize. Yep, so uh, gap here, sorry, at 28.53. And the next one is uh, currently around 28.72 as well. So watch out there in terms of that gap too. Okay, so very impressive thrust so far on the uh, US markets. So it's taking its pivot high here, connecting the next pivot high together. And it certainly is showing key resistance around that 28.50 zone. Okay, for now. Zooming in and onto a 60 minute chart, uh, again, very, very impressive. Market continues to ramp higher, and 10 minute chart as well, quite impressive. Now, given the fact that we are set to gap down the back of Facebook here now for the SP 500, uh, bear that in mind that there's a gap fill just below at 2807. That's the one to watch out for. Previous resistance equals support around this zone here at 2830. So lot of support around that 2830 zone so watch out there as well in terms of the S&P now cross-referencing that with the Russell 2000 and also looking at the Dow short as well uh, the Russell and the daily chart certainly hasn't shared the enthusiasm or the bullishness so bear that in mind as well given the fact that the Russell usually is a leader 
and technically should be leading us higher and that hasn't been the case so it's, it's interesting how the Nasdaq certainly is flushed let's see how the US markets continue to uh, react okay in terms of the uh, the Dow Jones let's have a look at the Dow thrust higher towards the close daily chart now coming back into that key resistance zone okay so there's a lot of resistance in this area at present okay watch out here if that breaks and you are looking at the next chair uh, resistance of 25800 so watch out there as well looking at the Dow transports is cross-referencing it with that too okay so certainly breaking high on the Dow transports uh, next potential resistance in the Dow transports is gap fill here at 11,000 okay so watch out there currently trying 10 900 at the moment okay in the Dow so watch out below you can certainly use a Fibonacci retracement tool from the high to the low I'm going to fib 75 percent as well so watch out up there okay so 2846 is where we closed yesterday currently trading around 2833 you've got gap fill at 2807 so we really are in a uh, trading sideways at present that's basically where we are okay so again that's good summation really of u.s equities uh, s p 500 certainly looking to set to gap down as nasdaq so looking set to gap down and it's about how the market trades thereafter on that note please be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers be sure to download the latest app goodbye now